Whoa, 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 welcome, whoa, welcome, whoa. welcome back to the, k the p k p k God, that poor mask, bro. <laughs> What's it smell like in there? Um, it smell like hot and ready's and cake. Oh, mm. cake and hot and ready's. <laughs> cake and hot and ready's. <laughs> the fuck, bro? It smells like a five-year-old's five year birthday party. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Actually, that's a little sus of my mask. Greasy pepperoni and birthday cake. <laughs> oh, that greasy pepperoni and birthday cake. Dude, the, the, fucking, the, the whole cake lore is just, it's spread like wildfire. Honestly, it's worse than the hot and ready thing. I can't post anywhere. I can't say anything, comment anywhere without somebody being like, oh yeah, whole cakes, whole cakes. Is it because you eat whole cakes? Just, yeah, he eats whole cakes. Yeah. Just embrace it. Yeah, he sounds like the type of person who would eat whole cakes. That's do you know? Do you know about that lore? Nobody? I do not. I, I'm not. I'm not in on the uh, the whole cake lore. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know about you're, not an, lore. you're not an avid you, goons yeah. video watcher. Yeah. 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 Not I'm not an avid uh, whole cake lore avid video watcher enjoyer. Well, let's so, get you up to speed. Uh, probably probably about a month ago, uh, Swagger. Actually, it's probably longer than that. Uh, we were in a CS:GO session, and Swagger um, said that I sound like a whole cake eater. <clears throat> Which, I mean, he's right. Okay. I definitely give off whole cake eating vibes. Um, and just, yeah, it's, I think that's Sue, it, right? Sue posted the video first. And then after that, it was just wildfire. Yeah, wildfire. Yeah. Literally. And now you're a whole cake eating. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like Andrew Tate levels of whole cake eating lore. <laughs> you're the Andrew Tate of eating cake. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what color is your cake? Yeah, that's what basically your cake. <laughs> yeah. Top cake energy. <laughs> top cake yeah. energy. It's like a wedding cake, but you just eat the top of it. That's that's what top cake energy is. <laughs> top C. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty aggressive. Top cake sounds like a fucking TV show, it's like the cake yeah. chef, like, like Cake Boss or something. Welcome yeah. back to, to Top Cake. Yeah, welcome back to Top Cake. <laughs> yeah. Top Cake. Yeah. Was I watching one of those with you guys where the that company made a flushable toilet cake? Who did I watch that with? Flushable toilet, toilet cake. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know what. Well, there you're was like about. some cake company and this plumbing company that had, they had been in business for like fifty years or some shit, and they wanted to celebrate. And they this this cake company made like a working fucking toilet, but it was also cake. Oh. The to I thought you meant oh. like one of those urinal cakes oh, that you could yeah. flush. I was like, that doesn't oh, yeah, no, 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 sound very innovative cake. to me. I thought that already existed. <laughs> that sounds whack as fuck. Yeah. So, so you could pee in the thing that you want to eat. The, the thing yeah. is cake. You could eat yeah. your piss cake or yeah. your huh. shit cake. Whoa. They had now, that's plumbing and everything in the cake how does that it was a toilet. How does it hold up? How does I don't it, know. Like that, was, that was the whole challenge of the video. They were trying to figure out like how the fuck uh, they're going to get that to work. You know what's weird is there's a one of the Mr. Beast videos had that. I think it might have been the Squid Game one. Where you had like it was a room and it had four toilets in it, and one of the toilets was cake. Okay, that that ain't. And I watched person, that video. The, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, that was the Squid Game. That was. I don't was that Squid that Game? Either. It might have been the Willy Wonka one. And that's what that it was. It was the Willy Wonka more video. Like, yeah. Yep. And I watch all like, Mr. Beast picked their own toilet, and then one of and then they sat down and like, yeah, one of them was cake. Hey, you remember I the Squid Mr. Game Brest. scene with the cake toilet? Yeah, famous Squid Game scene. <laughs> no, 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 from Mr. Beast video. Dumbass. I know what you're talking. Oh, yeah. I kill yeah, yourself. I know what you're talking about. Kill. Damn, sewer slide. I love Mr. Breast. I love Mr. Breast. I want to suck his <laughs> dick. Mr. Breast dry. Burger. Mr. Breast Burger. I love Have y'all had so the much. Mr. Breast Beast Burger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it any good? No. It depends on where you live. Yeah. Depends on. It's like a. I mean, it depends on what you compare it to. Yeah. And where you live. Yeah. If you compare it to dog food, then yes, it's probably pretty damn <laughs> yeah. good. Okay. Compared to so compared to dry low. grass and mud, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> compared to grazing, compared grass. to grazing and foraging yeah. your own mill, yes, it's decent. If you compare it to Windex and horse blood, definitely better. If you compare it to nuts and berries, yeah. Oh, actually, no, I'd prefer nuts and berries. Honestly. Yeah, I love nuts and berries. I can't shit on it too Me bad too. though. Mr. Beast is a great person. Does good stuff. He is. He's, oh, a, good yeah, he's, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Is he though? But, if his hamburger sucks, or is he a piece <laughs> yeah, of he's shit? A, he's, he a, he's basically a dictator. <laughs> Maybe he should go to hell. Yeah. There's the a lot of people quandary. that give. There's a lot of people that give him the Jeff Bezos treatment, where they're like, "Yeah, you spent two million dollars on a Willy Wonka factory. You can feed the homeless with that." He literally helped. Like, bro, he made ten million on the video, and he probably donated four million. 
Well, he has yeah, a mean, warehouse where he gives out food to people in need. Yeah, yeah. he has like a whole charity. So, like he, he has a whole channel just specifically dedicated to that. Yeah. Beast philanthropy. I've just, been in. I, well, technically, I wasn't in the video, but. You've whatever. Been there. Is that what you're gonna say? Uh, yeah, we we'd send a bunch of sour boys to them. Oh for the, yeah. For the Ooh, the, the giant cookie that, video, yeah. we sent them ten thousand dollars for the candy. Damn. Damn. So that's lit. So you stuffed homeless people full of. Your own candy. Your narcotics, basically. Exactly. Exactly. You, you stuffed homeless people full of your non FDA approved candy. I mean, it's not FDA approved. It has, uh, uh, you're allowed to have seven parts per million rat rat diarrhea for every sour boy. It's I actually have white phosphorus and not sugar. 800. Base as fuck. 800 parts per million rat diarrhea. And you think there's any companies out there that, like, check and see that their quota? Of like rat diarrhea yeah. is below, and then for they sure. add more for like a meme. <laughs> yeah, Gotta keep it consistent. One. People yeah. will notice yeah. the difference in flavor. Not enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's not enough cockroach leg in this Reese cup, so I'm gonna have to add a couple more in there. <laughs> That's pretty sickening. Mm. <sighs> That's pretty gross. It's goddamn like disgusting. It. Anyways, um, anything new in your life, Mister? So what's going on in the world, Mister Club? Mister Club. Oh, Club. Um, I got this. Oh, let's go. Monkey. The nice. zombies monkey. Charlie the oh, champ. Oh, that is a zombies monkey. I didn't even realize that. Yep. Literally, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty sick. What if you threw that on the ground in front of your grandma and she started like walking up to <laughs> it and like, <laughs> <it> was, like, <laughs> <laughs> like <just. laughs> That's funny. That's fucking <laughs> sick. I want one of those. It like, it's 180 it, bucks. Can you, uh, can you like ride it up or... To have like a um, to go. Wind, it's supposed wind. to work. It has a battery hole in its bottom, bottom, <clears throat> but uh, it just makes sound and doesn't work. So I'm not sure. Ever put it your was... nuts between those hands? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see that fucking video of you tasing your nuts all the time. Yeah, me too. Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> like all the time. Like when I yeah. when I go to send you memes, I'm like, well, yeah. I can't send him fucking that one because <laughs> it's literally a video of himself tasing his own nuts. <laughs> I see it all the fucking yeah. time. Instagram fucking loves that uh, that video for sure. Yeah, I was the nut taste guy, and now I'm the uh, the autist that talked to Andrew Tate. <laughs> oh, oh, I've yeah, seen that one. Goes, yeah, there was yeah. A like, I'm autism. actually autistic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And someone titled their fucking short that has like 20 million views. Autist talks to Andrew <laughs> Tate. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. It's oh, funny as shit. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to tell this autist joins the goons for an episode. <laughs> autist that talked to Andrew Tate is on the goons. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All yeah. the keywords we could possibly get. Yes. Autist, autist that tased his balls and talked to Andrew yep. Tate. <laughs> yep. Reaction. Yeah. Gone wrong. In the mm -hmm. hood. In oh, the hood. I, I still don't know who this Andrew Tate guy is at, like, at all. I don't I don't get on TikTok. And he's, if, if he's I do, literally it's just all like... Guy. He's just a top he's G. Bald. That's it. Top G gay. It's yeah, a top G. He has a Bugatti. He's very rich. Yeah. Um, and he lives in Romania. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's pretty. I mean, it's fairly straightforward. Fairly simple. Fairly simple. He uh, he hates being dehydrated. Um, okay. He relatable. Allegedly, <laughs> does not like women that much. He loves women. He loves having sex with women. Yeah, um, I mean, don't we all? But not like when they talk and Except stuff. For gays. But he doesn't like, like um, yeah, doing this. Except for when they yeah. drive. The, he's a very classical man. Very classical, biblical, uh, like old school kind of women are subservient type character. Okay, yeah. so he's religious? Uh, yes, yes he is. But like he says that he's a Christian and he also says that he's a Muslim. That don't work. Okay. So I'm not yeah. sure how you can do that. But I think he's just a troll, to be honest. But he's an yeah. yeah. interesting character. He's definitely sure. self aware for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, like, what is he kid. what does he upload? Or like what does he He, he doesn't, doesn't upload anything. Gaming. Yeah. yeah. Is it actually just he just does gaming videos? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything about the fucking guy, like at all. He no, he's Skyrim famous. mod videos. <laughs> he's That's famous because awesome. other people upload his shit pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He does oh, like okay. these little podcasts and he does interviews and he just uh I don't know, he really like some of the stuff he says would be considered to be based. But it's just like, it's just re it's just regular stuff that most people know already, kind of. And then like, and then he says like, women can't drive. And then 
I don't know. It, it's 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 hard to explain them really. Imagine just like a misogynist. Yeah. That's pretty much but like Sean that sometimes Connery. Sometimes says things that are common sense that you're like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much a miso- like a common sense misogynist. Yeah. 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 Kind of sounds like you're describing me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why he's done so well because uh, a lot of people see him. And they're like, I think that's just me. <laughs> so well, the thing about him too is he's so like he just doesn't. He's very like he doesn't like can- cancer culture affect his views at all. Like he doesn't cancer culture. Cancer culture. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, much. The new uh, pretty much honestly. album. I mean, cancel culture Dude. really is cancer culture. I'm gonna be on. I-, I need to tell you guys this. I went to a store and bought some Affliction stuff as a joke. Nice. Oh, yeah. Some as joke, a joke. As, affliction. as a joke, yeah. <laughs> and I was like making fun of it uh, while I was in the store and all my friends were there too. And, and the uh, one of the guys that works there loves like our videos, my videos. Uh, well, he, did, he didn't know who I was. Uh, his friend knew who I was. He watches like a bunch of other YouTubers like you guys. And he actually looks kind of like you, Soup, but like a, maybe a Texas version. And um, I I'll show you what it looks like. Version. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah like and, a chunky soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> like soup he's a cool dude. Big chunks of chicken in it. And Campbell's, he was like, Campbell's uh, chunky. Exactly. Campbell's, <laughs> Campbell's <laughs> chunky. Campbell's <laughs> chunky soup down here in Texas. And he was fucking like, we, he was laughing with us. And we were, we were talking about the stuff. And then he got fired because of us. And what? we also got kicked out. What yeah. the hell? Oh my god! It was insane. He, like he I, got fired on the spot. Like I, it wasn't on the spot, but I, I, I DM'd him on Instagram after because I, I, he, I told him I was gonna post a picture of me wearing the affliction stuff, and he's like, "Yo, just fuck. What's your Instagram? I want to see that shit." And um, I told him, and then I followed him back because he's like a cool guy, like a local guy, and uh, and then I DM'd him. I was like, yeah, "Sorry about that, man. Hopefully you didn't get fired." And he's like, "I did." <laughs> Fucking, oh my and god. then he just texted me that actually, which is really fucking funny. Oh my god! But like, what warranted him getting fired? Like, just y'all it's just because he was around? making fun of the. Oh wait, sorry, I couldn't hear you. What'd you say? I was like, what? What warranted him getting fired? Like, y'all just joking around, or yes, the the uh, we were what? joking around saying that affliction was shit, and uh, we were kind of being a little bit loud. And Chandler, the guy, was uh, dressing up my friend Michael. And like he went to the, the, the fitting room or whatever, he came out and then he's like, uh, it's all coming together. You're starting to look, you're starting to look like you belong in affliction. And then Michael said something that was a bit insensitive out loud, just fairly just loud for it. <laughs> no, no, not quite that. Just a bit. Insensitive. Uh, just a little bit insensitive. Yeah. And then the manager heard that thought I said it came up to me and was like, I really don't appreciate you being offensive in my store. And then she was like, are you actually going to wear that stuff? By the way, I'm holding a $250 pair of jeans and a $190 shirt that I'm going to buy <laughs> for a joke. Uh, like affliction stuff is so fucking stupid. And I'm surprised um, they still sell it, honestly. It's insane. Yeah. And I was like, I'm doing you a favor by buying this stuff. Like you, no one else is going to buy this because uh, the guy Chandler that I got fired, he, he was like, no one's ever bought any of this stuff while well, I've been working here at least. And um, so she was really pissed off at us. And I was like, listen, I'm not, I'm going to buy this. Like, I'm not like I can, I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to criticize your, your horrible fashion that you have in here. 90% of the whole other store is perfect. It's nice stuff, but this is dumb. And it obviously shows because no one buys it. And, uh, she got like an attitude and was, uh, like a, being like a quote unquote Karen kind of, um, nice. And it was, she was also doing an interview or something and she came off very like aggressive at first, which kind of took me aback a little bit. Um, and she was not like a, like all the people that were working there were all like laughing with us and having a good time. And then she came in and was like extremely corporate and extremely just a giant fucking bitch to be honest. A party pooper. A party pooper. Yeah. yeah. And everyone else was having fun except for her. And it was fucking, it was so annoying. And, um, I ended up buying it anyways, just a spider. And, uh, and I look fucking good. You bought a spider? Yeah. In spite of her, I bought a spider. Nice. That, and, like, um, that's, that's, that's really, that's really dumb. That's really it dumb. It was so like, stupid. Yeah. But my boy got fired though because of me. So I feel guilty. That's stupid. Wow. Well, maybe he'll get a, a job at a, at a better store. Without yeah. Turkey. Yeah, it doesn't sell Turkey. affliction. Turkey Campbell's chicken noodle soup. I'll go to a store that sells Ed Hardy instead. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly better than affliction. Yeah. I just remember affliction uh, being like, uh, like douchebags or that kind of stuff. Like back in the day. Like 10, 15 years ago. That was like the douchey thing to wear, I guess. I, and it hardy too. 
I wouldn't know. I don't. I don't really I pay don't attention to, to about, brands. I mean, I like yeah, fan. Same. Well, I like the thing is, when you stuff. see affliction, when you see in a piece of affliction like shirt or something, you just know it's affliction. It has like these yeah. crazy designs on it, like these really it's bedazzled like crosses and stuff. Yeah, they're fucking bedazzled. Yeah, they're bedazzled. They have like actual jewels on them and shit. I've seen one man in my life in the South wearing designer jeans, and we all made fun of him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. like the, Good. the bedazzled back pockets. Because it just it yeah. looked it just looked it, like yeah. uh, it like looks, it looks I don't know. Like it's like you pants. won't. Yeah, it's like you want to like look at his ass, and everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah, because yeah, like girls, a, girls will wear the got, same stuff, and your and your instant yeah. reaction is to look at ass. So when a dude's yeah, it's all it, sparkly and oh, shiny, yeah. that's mm-hmm. pro strats, dude. Yeah. That's smart shit right there, like moths. Hey, here in deep ass Missouri, <laughs> we we see camo shorts and khakis and jorts. That's about it, boy. Uh, yes, sir. Amen. Amen. God's country. I see hairy wild man ass sometimes when I go out. Nice. Just naked, nice. naked locals. Really? I've uh, seen a couple naked guys down here, yeah. Would you guys? Really? Yeah. Would you guys be nudist? Would you go to a, like a nudist colony? No. Oh, yeah. Uh, only with my family. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Same, bro. All right. <laughs> Same. Mm. Very, uh, very on the nose. They're like cousins to me. Absolutely, I don't. Branding is weird to me. I think it's funny that like uh, Brandon? I feel like I remember. Oh, Brandon. I think it's a Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. <laughs> no, Brandon yeah, weird. Bra- Brandon. Brandon <laughs> yeah, is Brandon funny dude. to me. Yeah, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon is funny to me. <laughs> no, um, like wasn't Champion sold in Walmart? I feel like we talked about this before or something. Possibly. Champion yeah. has different. It's in Target. Champion, I think it has different levels. I've seen Champion in like Dee Dee's discounts, but I've also seen it like. What the fuck is that? It's like uh, it's like Ross, but like worse. King worse Dee than discount? Ross? King yeah, like King everything. That how do you get worse? Like things that don't sell at Ross go to Dee Dee's discounts. It's like what? that much worse. It's like a than, lower layer of hell. Yeah, <laughs> of department stores. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a gross environment. But um, I literally got the shorts that I'm wearing from like a Goodwill. <laughs> Are they That's champion? cool. Champion shorts? Uh, no, I think they're American Eagle. Uh, I don't. I don't. I, I don't look at brand. Like, I don't. I don't look at something and, and see a logo and that makes me want to buy it. Yeah, unless me neither. It's a, unless I, it's a band shirt. I remember when I first started doing YouTube and like I first started making good money, I, I wanted to get like off white and like that kind of clothing. And then after a while, yeah, I was I've like, never given a shit about that stuff. Oh, I know. Same. I have never oh, seen. Oh, I know. I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you not wear gym shorts. <laughs> it's like your thing. Gym shorts are awesome. Gym shorts dude. and plain jeans. It's, yeah. it's, it's just about being comfortable, bro. Do you I have like other things that, that you, I would wear, like if I went out to like a, a casino or something. But if I'm gonna sit at my desk, yeah, yeah baby, I got gym shorts on too. Gym shorts, six, 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 six like, pairs I wear every day of the week. They're Amazon yeah, Basics sir. gym shorts. They're actually like really nice. I got new Amazon down. Basics gym <laughs> shorts. I got the Jack yeah, Harlow. You can gym get like six right of now. them for like fifteen that's, bucks. That's made of, out of like some Chinese girl's skin. They ripped <laughs> off. Like I get it's comfortable though. They're like they're really like soft. It's not like I don't know. They're light and soft. I bet it is. Yeah. Them Chinese girls got soft skin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. What was that shirt you were in? Meta? Meta Remember? PCs. Meta PCs. Oh. You sponsor, boy? I am. Meta PCs. I've never heard of that company. Editor, blur awesome. it out. It's not G subs. <laughs> yeah. Use code use goons. Use code yeah. Oopa. Use code Oopa. Use code Goons. Code Goons. goons. Use code Goons. 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 Yeah. Goons, the CEO actually he held a gun to my head the other day and yeah. said that we're not selling enough of their dangerous powder and that yeah. if we if we don't sell some more with Code Goons then he's going to collectively hire hitmen to kill all of us yes. on the podcast. Live. I was actually uh I that ran, out, like of, I ran out of bullets for my uh 1911 the other day and I decided I, that's a to, I decided to take the casings and fill them <laughs> with G-subs and make my own bullets. And they yeah. actually shoot faster and louder than real bullets. Mm. Wow. So you can Sounds use gamer stuff as gunpowder. <laughs> big disclaimer. Do not do not do actually not do, do this. any of this. Just do kidding. not actually just kidding. <laughs> do not load up a cannon with G subs and yeah. fire that bitch. Now that would be kind of cool. I mean you you'll have a great time. Cans? You'll have a great time, but just 
Just kidding. Don't do it. You ever seen like those Russian dudes that somehow get a fucking trash can to shoot like a cannon? Yeah. yeah. Where they just yeah. like, drill a hole in the bottom and hold like a fucking torch to it and it just doof. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've always wanted to try there that. There are some wild lads. You ever built a uh, potato gun? If any, if any of you guys ever played with no. potato guns? I always wanted to buy mm-hmm. one though. You can just build one. You can just make, make one go to Lowe's. It's like 20 bucks. Mm. PVC pipe. Don't they have PVC like kits pipe. you can buy? Maybe. I think I've seen that before. Like that's for pussies. If though. you need the kit, kit, you a bitch. If yeah, you need the kit, true. you don't need a potato gun. They're awesome though. I really want to buy one or build one, but I'm in like a town now, so I can't really just fucking blow shit up anymore. Yeah, true. You totally could. True, I could I, actually. Yeah, it's not zoned. In, I, yeah, as long as my neighbors didn't call the police on me, but just threaten their lives. <laughs> Start shooting taters. You know what we used to do actually? Oh my god. I just I had a flashback of my last act of vandalism. So my, okay. I probably shouldn't say this out loud, but uh, when I was a kid, in the middle of the night, when my friends would come over, we would sneak around. So my house was a used to be a part of my of property that my grandparents owned. Okay, my mom's parents owned property. They sold six acres to my mom and dad, and then we, I grew up there. And so we would sneak out. My grandparents died in like 2013. And like uh, after that, I was I was too old to be doing this kind of stuff. But we would we would get <laughs> there was always renters in that house, people we didn't like, people because they sold it uh, before they died. And so like there would be these people who who rented the house that we didn't like. They were like drug addicts, shit like that. So this house that I basically also grew up in, my grandparents' house that I knew very well was being inhabited by losers that I was pretty like pissed about. And being a you know 15, 16 year old hooligan from Northern Virginia with a lot of time and being homeschooled as well, we would build potato guns and we would build ones that would shoot golf balls um, and, and like smaller stuff. Cause the smaller the diameter of the barrel, the much, the, the, the faster that the, uh, the projectile will go with the same amount of fuel. So we would just basically for a whole, like three and a half months, we would go just shoot at their house. with the potato guns. Holy shit. Oh In the middle of the night. In the middle of the night. Did you ever hit their house? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you, yeah. Did you like, break a window? or? I, I don't know if we broke any windows, but we definitely, we did. Like, there was a few times in which, um, uh, like, I don't know how to say this without <laughs> incriminating myself, but there was a few times in which we definitely shouldn't have shot what we shot. Let's just oh, say that. Okay. Fuck. And Flaming it was... No, it, it was it was it wasn't that bad, but it, it was pretty bad though. I definitely should not have done it. But we we used to we used to shoot. I do not condone this behavior, by the way. Shoot my uh, neighbor's house with a uh, potato gun, and golf balls and hmm. shit. Horse I've always shit. wanted to get in the back of a like truck with a bat and go by and just hit mailboxes. Oh, oh yeah, the dude. classic, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> my uh, go to prison for like eight years. I would be so it's pissed illegal. if someone did that shit to me. Yeah, that, yeah it's hey, definitely yeah, it's fucking illegal. illegal. It's not like oh, it's fine. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's another funny story. That at the same property, at the base of that driveway, there was like four mailboxes, and the neighbors across the street had their mailboxes there. And someone used to do that to the first mailbox. Like every couple months, he would. Get his mailbox knocked down, fucking build it back up. Get his mailbox knocked down, build it back up. And he finally just fucking made it concrete. Yeah, make it out of, <laughs> made, put like brick, make yeah. it like out of brick, yeah. Well, that used to happen yeah. on the, my old street that I used to live on. People would just hit the sign, because at the top of the street, there was just a sign that had the street name on it. People just run their fucking car through it, like, once a month. So eventually, they just put up like a, a little plastic thing that just had like a piece of paper stapled to it that just said the street name because they were just like, fuck it, I'm tired of rebuilding it. <laughs> just a piece of paper? <laughs> yeah. That's the most Missouri shit ever. It's so <laughs> ghetto looking. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is wrong with people? I need to get uh, Ethan on the podcast because me and him used to do some dumb shit like that. We would um, we would go to like the subdivision that he like lived on or whatever and like the, the back of the subdivision was just like a drop off, like a drainage kind of like area or whatever. And it was just like the whole like back hillside or whatever uh, of it was just rocks. But then like across from this drainage area was this house. And I don't think we ever hit it, but we would always go down there and we would see who could throw like rocks the closest and try and hit this house. I don't know if we ever actually hit it though. Hmm. Uh, And I don't know if I've talked about this before or not, but uh, he had this old man that lived across the street from him and like, 
he was the kind of old man that like if a basketball or a football or whatever would get in his yard, he would like take it and put it in his garage. His name. Let, yeah, like he wouldn't let you have it back. Like who the fuck does that? Like who Assholes. the fuck old people. does Assholes. that? It's like, like old cat lady Grinches. Type of energy. Yeah. Yeah. So one day we uh we had like we were super big into airsoft as kids. Like just I don't I don't know what it was, but we all loved airsoft. Yeah. And he had like this fucking I think it was like battery powered or air powered or something like uh MP five looking airsoft gun. And we went into his bedroom, and the, one of the windows in his room was just, like, facing this person across the streets, like, uh, yard or whatever. And this old-ass man was, like, out there, like, pulling weeds up out of the ground one day. And we poked a, a hole in, like, the mesh part of his window or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the mm-hmm. like screen, like the, the screen, screen door. Part. Yeah. Yeah, 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 like the screen of the window. We, like, we poked a little hole in it. And we would just like sit in his room and we'd just like tap this old dude's ass with these pellets. Like while he's <laughs> bent over. Was like, oh my God. That sounds very illegal. <laughs> that That's insane, fuck. dude. And then just run away. Well, we were inside. We were, we were literally a fucking we, douchebag. Yeah, we were literally sniping this dude from his room. Like we were we were uh in my friend Ethan's bedroom, just sniping him from the window. Oh right, I see what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, that's fucking funny. <laughs> Oh, that seems illegal. Definitely illegal. Yeah. Definitely illegal. Statute of limitations, though. You're cool. You're chilling. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. Like, fuck that old dude for not giving back a basketball or football yeah. or whatever it was. Yeah, shoot him. Fuck, that's, that's, fuck that's, him that's and suck him, trade. bro. Yeah. Fuck him and suck yeah. him. <laughs> Ruin his life. I just wonder. I, I wonder if he thought he got like stung by a bee, <laughs> <laughs> or like, or He's like, non flashbacks. Like gets his gets his wife to like look at his ass, like eh, Margaret. What do you think this bites from? It's just a fucking welt from a an airsoft pellet. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably dead now. Oh, he's definitely dead. There's no way he's not. Let's dead. Let's go. That means, yeah, yeah that, was, that was an old coot for sure. An old coot. Old cater. He was an old coot. Mm. I feel like a racist. Nasty, term. you ever you ever do anything like that? Um, no, I was a pretty tame child. I mean, I was an asshole, but I was I didn't really like fuck with the general public. Really, I, I used to yell like retard sounds at my neighbor through our backyard. I, really? I never shot him, but like he'd be out there peacefully reading. I'd be like, <laughs> I'll scare the shit out of him. <laughs> that is funny. I like that. I did used to make my he old stepbrother eat old random fucker. berries off of bushes, though. Just like poisonous ones, potentially. I mean, he's still alive, so. But I'd be well, like, "Hey, eat this plant. You. It's good for your heart." He would just eat it. Oh my god! <laughs> I told one of my old Alaskan neighbors to suck my fucking dick. Oh. You just anti. Was it racially motivated? Just- <laughs> uh, dude, I can't remember if I've told this before or not. I feel like definitely I not. I don't remember uh, about your Alaskan neighbor. I was walking my dog Rebel. Around Rebel the neighborhood, dog. Rebel. Rebel dog. Uh, around around the neighborhood, and uh, this old couple, they were also walking their dog, and they were walking like in the same kind of direction, and um, you know the dogs like when they see each other, they're like, oh, 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 yeah, oh. Well, they want to get oh, all close and, and sniff buttholes and hump mm-hmm. and all that. Yeah. So like Not the, our dogs activity to dogs, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so our dogs were kind of doing that. And I was like, ah, ha, ha, you know, sorry about that. And I was like, how are you guys doing? You know, just like, hey, hey, neighbor. Mm. And they just like ghosted me. And Ryan I was Rell like, ghosted you? Yes. They Not like looked at, red. They <laughs> looked at me and I was like, okay. And they just kept walking. And I just like, I was like, okay. And I just kept walking. And I took like five good steps. And I was just getting angrier and angrier. And I turned around, I was like, you know what? You can suck my fucking dick. And they were like, what? And I was like, fuck you, buddy. And I just, oh my God, I was dude. like, yeah. And I just kept walking. And then I the, didn't understand English. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, no, they under, they, they knew what I was saying. And, and the neighborhood was like a big fucking loop. And I was like, oh God, eventually I'm going to walk by them again oh, at some point. Bro. So, <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is so fucking awkward because now I'm, I'm going to walk by them eventually. I would have just said this. it again. 
I'm like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you walk by him. And just every time and you see anybody, just say yeah. on the neighborhood. <laughs> walk, walk by him again as I'm walking. I'm like, I'm going to beat your fucking ass. <laughs> when I get over there, I thought about like cutting through some neighbor's yards or whatever to get back like to my house. I didn't have to, uh, you know. So what did you do? Did you that. end up just walking by him and dealing yeah, with that? Yeah, I, I walked by him again and the man was like apologizing. He was like, I'm so, he was like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, dude, like. I said, hey, and you just like ignored me completely. Like I was like trying to be friendly and you just looked at me and said nothing. I was like, you like you are a dick. And he was like, I'm sorry. I'm from Alaska. And I'm like, I don't, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Like, I can get away with being a piece of shit. I'm like, from Alaska. All right. So, so did you end up I, beating the fuck out of him or what? Yeah. Oh, so man. then I, I, I slit his throat and then I, I, took yes. him home and bar- I took him home and barbecued him. Good. And I also threw the dog on the grill. No, I, I apologize. And I was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have blown up like that. But that was very rude. And that pissed <clears> me off. Because <throat> it's not like, I'm, <clears throat> dude, I don't know. I know there's like a, a big difference between like, you know, like northern Yeah, well, I mean, mentality even though Alaska and, and, is part uh, of the uh, the USA, it's still like. They ain't one of us. It's still kind of foreign. You know, it's like Hawaii. You go to Hawaii and, you know, everybody's, not connected to the everybody's huge and brown. And, you know, there's like a different culture going on there. I, yeah, I guess, but it's it's just like I, we're the only two people on the road, and I, yeah. like I obviously live in this neighborhood with you, and you can't be like, hey, or like yeah. acknowledge that Bro, I exist. I am such a pacifist little bitch. I would have never in a million years told them to suck my dick. I would yeah. just been like, oh, oh okay. You would have sucked fine. their dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I I don't have the balls to do that. I'm not really an angry person. It's like a. a a switch kind yeah, of just flips me too. and I'm just like I'm either like chill all the time or then it's like ah, ah. yeah it's so. all like just the most random thing will set me off yeah it's rough that's probably not good yeah but, you but it doesn't happen like see help like the last time I remember like really blowing up uh it was when I used to live in my old house with my cousin <clears throat> and my cousin like came up to my room and he was drunk clearly and he just would not leave me alone and I was like busy doing something and I just kept telling him to leave and kept telling him. Eventually, I just like blew up at him. I was like, dude, get the fuck out of my room. Ah, I was screaming and stuff. And, you know, I could feel my blood pressure in my heart just fucking blowing up. But, yeah, it, just, it happens very seldomly. I'm, I'm a pretty chill person. I usually like to lose my temper at uh, the most vulnerable people, <laughs> like old people, Chris. babies, <laughs> small animals. I know. Like I felt bad. But, uh, like... Cause then in my brain I was like maybe they didn't hear me because they're old or like yeah. maybe there was something and like now I'm making myself feel like an asshole. Yeah. Which I probably was. I maybe they were like that. discussing the loss of their child or something. Or what if they, they didn't, didn't speak? What if they or, didn't speak English? Yeah. yeah. Or like like what? If, and I'm just like you said that piece of shit. <laughs> I'm just like fuck you, you asshole. Then you look like a racist. <laughs> you're like a GTA <laughs> NPC guy. or something. Yeah. Just mad for no reason. Yeah, they do that too. Sometimes GTA NPCs will talk to you, and if you don't like press right or left to like respond to them, it's like oh, fuck you then. Yeah, or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I'm just I'm just an NPC at the end of the day. Yeah, it's NPC <laughs> behavior. We all, though? I don't know. Depends. Depends. Diapers for old people. He's code goons. <laughs> I hate reflecting on situations where you wish you would have been angrier, though. I hate like, reflecting in general. Oh, like, yeah. I usually avoid mirrors. I don't know, they bug me. Like when you're in the shower and you're like, you know, I should have said this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then that's I would have the gotten them. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. I still do you that. Always like think from, of your best points after the, the shit's over. I still do time. that from things when I was like 10 years old. I think like, that's man, called I, trauma. Trauma. Yeah, you should think see that's called help. childhood trauma. Well, it's just like like I'll remember, I'll randomly remember an argument I had with, like with my dad when I was younger. I'd be like, man, I should have just said this. Like, fuck you, dad. Still that would have won him. it. Just call yeah. him up. I'm like, you remember ten years ago? Yeah. You did. <laughs> Fucking piece of shit. Remember when you took my <laughs> iPhone away because I ran away and went to blah, blah, blah. I couldn't play Doodle Jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! You took like, away Subway Surfers. Forgot about that game. Dude, oh, Subway motherfucker! It's weird how Subway that? Surfers is still relevant after all this time. So is Clash of Clans, and it's fucking ten Clash years of old. Clans, yeah. yep. I never played Clash of Clans. I don't know base. Nobody cares. Didn't ask. Plus sell ratio. Somebody cares. Somebody cares. Yeah. Whatever. What was that one? Temple Run. Temple Run was huge. Yeah. That was too, fun, man. dude. Temple Run. Little monkeys chasing after you. Temple Run was yeah. cool, but it didn't have anything like special to it. 
You know, you run on Temple, man. What else do you need? Yeah, but they didn't like ever add anything to it. They didn't like add an update or they anything. They made like, Temple Run two. Yeah. Wasn't Temple Run two the one that was like popular? Like, wasn't Temple oh, Run know. one like not I, the I popular one? I have no idea. I played it recently though because I was on a flight and I just had nothing better to do. Mm. Mm. So I downloaded Temple Run. I always thought Temple Run was hard. Like compared to the other games that were like that, it was like harder. I don't know. I fuck with Subway Surfers though. Jetpack Joyride. Yeah, I play it sometimes. Subway Surfers. I had Flappy Bird. I never deleted it. What the hell is up with these modern mobile games where it's like, um, it's like you're you're a bitch in heels. I think we've talked about this before, but like you're a bitch in heels, and like you got to go through these. Yeah. You got to pick up taller heels. You know the ones I always see now. Objects that saw your heels off, and if your feet touch the ground, you lose. What the fuck is that shit? <laughs> what? The ones yeah, I, that's the, like yeah. modern. That's like modern temple run, essentially. The ones I always see now is like the little cannon going left and right that like shoots out blue people. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, oh, and you have to go through the portals and it's like times two or divide by two. That's yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, well, I've that one too, but there's too. one that was like a cannon that goes left and right. Hmm. Or you move the cannon and then there's like a there's like a thing that's like times three that moves left and right. And you have okay. to like follow it and you're, when you shoot the thing, they triple. And then the people playing it clearly are just fucking brain dead and they just like don't even shoot through that thing and then they lose. Oh, the people who that, run the demos the whole, are retarded, yeah. yeah. That's the whole I, that, I think that's the whole point though. Is that it's supposed to be you're supposed to in your brain be like, "Oh, I can do better than that." It, it's got to be, right? Yeah. It makes uh, me not want to play the game. Like it makes me not want to play it. I don't know. It just it looks very well, annoying. They're, they're dumb. I mean, they're like they're primate level games. Yeah. Primate <laughs> Prime ape. Did Prime you say primate? Ape. I'm just going to be full gamer mode. I, I, I like that. Prime, prime ape. ape. Prime ape. <laughs> He's an ape in his prime. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking prime apes, bud. Can we, oh. take, can we have a goon's nap time? Nap time on a podcast. Didn't you just wake up? Yeah. From, like a, your from a nap? I slept fucking hard, too, because I, I woke up this morning at like 4.30, and I went to bed at like up. midnight, and I, I took a shit. And then I had to, and I went and laid down, and then immediately had to shit again. And like doing that made me awake. And then I just couldn't get back to sleep. And then like, I think 10 a.m. I decided to take a nap. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes nice. I just have like aggressive <laughs> shits in the middle of the night, and it just wakes me up. This is like I feel like I'm listening in on a nursing home conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what did moment. old Eric do today? Usually, what happens is sometimes I'll eat like right before I go to bed, and that's usually what causes it. I don't know. And you'll just shit that food out before you wait, like before the next morning. Yeah, you'll like shit food out in like four hours. Uh, Man, you got a four or five hours digestive tract. I know. Even you, though I'm like a kind of a relatively unhealthy person, oh, well, I don't want to say necessarily unhealthy, but you know I'm overweight and stuff, and I, you know, I drink caffeine and whatnot. But I, for some reason, have like the most like normal shit system, like the most normal guts. I don't know. <laughs> I'm very Sounds like maybe not. Turds. No, I, sh I mean, I shit fast. When I do shit, it's usually it's solid. Like I don't really have to. I only have to wipe a couple times before it's really clean. I don't know. Huh. Do any I of you guys have bidets? So much. No. no. Are you anti-bidet? I've just never tried one. I mean... Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not opposed to a little splash in the butthole, though. I'm not well, you should do... You, on the podcast, you guys should all... Uh, you, for the next episode, all buy like the tushy bidets, the cheap ones on Amazon, and then test it and record your reaction, and then put that as a bit in the next podcast because it's like a really? life changing experience. Really, positive or negative, either way. What is the difference between a bougie and a cheap one? Like, what gets better? I don't know. The only one I've got was seven dollars off Wish, and it fucking sprays my insides clean. Oh. You, you actually Dude. bought a bidet off of Wish. I bought that a bidet off of Wish, and <laughs> is, I tested it out brave. first. So like, I was like, I was like playing with it and stuff, and let it spray in my mouth because it was funny, and like just like, <gasps> <you know? laughs> and there's like all these all different right. settings. It has a really strong mode that I think legitimately. I mean, if you weren't careful, you could, you could, you could so create a little bit of a. Of water? Oh no! You could create a second butthole. Oh, it, like oh. it Whoa. turns you into like a, a human fountain that shoots <laughs> out of your mouth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, it's just it's like it's and then like somebody else catches that oh. water coming out of your mouth. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like a a human centipede of water and bidets, <laughs> bidets. and shit. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, like, actually bought one insane. off of Wish. I'm surprised it doesn't shoot out like lava 
or some shit. It, it feels like lava. I was looking at bidets on Amazon because I was thinking about buying one. You should get and one. I know the really expensive ones just have like they have like heated water. Yeah, you yeah. can well, move dry light. too, right? Mm-hmm, they yeah, some of them have some of them have dryers. You can move, some of them have uh, pussy and asshole washers. That's so what mine like is a, a pussy double. and hole wash. Oh. Have you yeah. used like a, a pussy double? one? Oh yeah, dude, shoots you right in the back of the nutsack. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it's awesome. Hell yes. It's surprising and it hurts very badly. Hmm. I just yeah. whenever I'm, whenever I'm done bony. shitting, I just jump in the yep. pool. You start jacking it. <laughs> just jump in your pool. <laughs> oh, fuck. I love shit talk on the Goons podcast. See, I just I, I just take my shower head off and I, I I put it on like the fucking <laughs> yeah. setting, like the, 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 the pussy pounding I, setting. I mean, yeah, that's basically go, what a bidet is, pretty much. I just go down in there. Yeah, I love that. I have one of those headsets. Until climax. Those, uh, I almost said headset. Yeah. I have one of those uh, shower heads, too. And I just basically, oh. like, I squat down a little bit so the cheeks open and then just. Yeah. Feels just great. Get all up in there. It, like, scratches it, too. Like, itches it for you. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a, a good use of it, yeah. Do you ever have an Definitely. itchy ass and you just rip a big fart? It just feels great. And then it itches it for you? It itches God, it for you. That's the best. No. Bro, that's the best. <laughs> You've never I've had never that, that. Oh my god! No, dude, I've never, That's I've never greatest. itched my asshole with a fart. <laughs> you know, farting right, boy. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. I'm gonna be yeah. honest. I'm gonna have to try that one. Yeah, you need more beef jerky in your life. That's why. I'm gonna have to build up the itchiness until a fart comes out. Mm-hmm. Don't wipe. Just, yeah, don't wipe for about a week, and then just fart a lot. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. This is Bruh. great. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's some prime ape ass techniques right there. Prime, prime ape. ape. Prime, Dude, prime ape. ape is sweet. I like that a lot. Prime that ape. sounds like a brand or something like that. It has does, to yeah. exist. It, sounds it like exists an for sure. Like project. Prime sounds like maybe Joe up. Rogan's cl- clothing brand or something. Yeah, prime ape. <laughs> prime ape planet. What is this? Pap. Prime Ape and Kong Planet. Buy the apes, buy the Kong. Dude. What? I, <laughs> I think it's literally an NFT project. Of course, course it is. <laughs> oh, it, it actually uh, of is. Of course it is. <laughs> it is! Prime <laughs> Ape is an actual <laughs> NFT. Oh, my God. Oh, fact checked. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Arrested. Boom. Arrested. China, China. China. China, vagina, vagina. Potato, <laughs> potato. <laughs> Tomato. Ugh. So, I, Oopa, I have a question. Uh, yep. What is the difference between your main channel and Oopa TV? Uh, the the TV one just has way less edits, oh. and it's just like basic reaction stuff. And then the main one, I do the Don't Laugh series where I give away money, and yeah. then whatever else I want. So, oh, like, okay. I'll interview have... Andrew Tate. Right. You know? yeah. Or uh, I, I got suggested your last, like, cringe video, the one you did with that girl. Uh, mm-hmm. And I didn't even realize it was a different channel until I was done watching the video. Yeah, it's I mean it's supposed to feel the same, but like the lower lower common denominator stuff is going to go on the the second channel. Just the easier yeah. stuff will go on the second channel, which I enjoy yeah. that stuff more because it's just fun, just fun to yeah. do. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what I recently I do with mine too. I recently turned my second channel back into my archive channel because I I have just been getting hit hard with a string of age restrictions on that channel. Like I woke up the other day and I had like I think seventeen like That's new insane. age restrictions. Yeah, and I tried yeah, you're to being targeted. Yeah, but my, it's weird because my main channel I feel like is the total opposite. I feel like I have a guardian angel on my main channel. Like the only time I ever get age restricted on my main channel is when it's like appropriate, you know, like when I when I myself fuck something up. But <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna try and like start fresh with a new channel and just be a little bit more, you know. Yeah, a little bit more sensory. I'm bringing back the uh, some gaming stuff. We played this game called Booty Creek Cheek Freak. Have you guys ever heard of that? <laughs> no. no, it sounds like a, like awesome. a flavor at Baskin Dude. Robbins or something. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a really fun game by this guy Puppet Combo. Um, he makes a bunch of really fun games that are just like they're horror games and they're they're VHS type, so it's like they're they're like purposefully oh, low poly. Nice. Um, oh yeah, it's, it's like yeah. A, uh, Markiplier plays a lot of videos like that. Yeah, plays a lot of games. Yeah. He yeah. plays a lot of their games, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, they're cool, though. The, uh, man, they make some good shit. And Booty Creek Cheek Freak is funny as fuck. Really? Yeah. Is it multiplayer? Really, uh, it's single player. Oh, that's oh, probably cringe. why we haven't played it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Or, or talked about it. You guys we should did. play the uh, back rooms game and do yeah, a back rooms game. We did. Video. We just we, we, we played that. That shit uh, was days ago. legitimately fucking scary. Which one did you play? Uh, inside, inside the back, the back rooms, rooms. I think is yeah. the one we did. Okay, inside the back rooms. Yeah, that's the one that I've been getting. People have been just bitching at me to play it. Yeah, it's. Yeah. And I it's got VR, bro. Fuck. Oh that. yeah, fuck that, dude. I'll play yeah, in VR. I, I ain't, I'm not playing that shit in VR. I'm too much of a pussy. Yeah. If I didn't get motion sickness, I might do it, but motion sickness wah, on top of shitting my wah, pants. Yeah, wah. I'm a little piss baby. Yeah, I'm a little piss baby. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I get it too, dude. If it's a game where you use the controls to move, it fucks with me. Yeah, I just yeah, close my if, eyes. If it's like Beat Saber or something where you're kind of standing still, like, exactly. it doesn't bother you, but it's like you're, you're, you're moving, but you're not actually physically moving, and your brain it just, just fucks with your brain. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the, the Walking Dead game the saints and sinners i think that's the one that did it to me i didn't even know i had that motion sickness shit until i played that i don't have it in any other aspect of life like roller coasters car rides yeah i mean either whatever the fuck it's just vr for me just vr yeah it's yeah. like your your brain your brain sings your body moving and you're not actually moving for some reason just causes like a i don't know i don't know how to explain it. it's weird motion sickness i guess some tomfoolery in the brain yeah i don't feel like i've ever felt that from vr really you're lucky yeah. Maybe I, I know. Played I, the right game. I know. Swagger said that he had that, but he just like kind of powered through it, and then it went away. You can yeah, build up a tower. Yeah, it does yeah. go away. Yeah, if you if you just like play for like two hours a day on like some crazy VR chat worlds, you'll you'll uh, be fine after about a week. I don't know about fine in VR chat for two hours a day, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. I feel like that's how you develop a like illness, mental illness, <laughs> yeah. or a kink. <laughs> Yeah. Last yeah. time I went on VR chat, I saw two fin boys is, uh, dressed up as wolves giving each other VR fellatio. So that's okay, why I go maybe, on. Yeah, maybe I will be getting on. That's VR why chat. I get on there. Yeah. E R P. E R P. Yeah. E R P. VR, VR chat's kind of cringe now. It used to be a lot of fun. I feel like it was very uh, a lot of different yeah. variety of people, but now it's just kind of like cringeo fur bags. It was cool, and then <laughs> hackers took it over. And and like would put up like gore on your screen, so you had to Alt F4 to get rid of it. Yeah, like I yeah. saw like prolapsed anuses, ruptured scrotums, and shit like that. Uh -huh. While I'm trying to just play guitar for people, I'm in the middle of a Steve Vai <laughs> song, and there's just like a goatsy to asshole on my screen. Out of <laughs> well, to be fair, that's not much different from Omegle. So I mean, like, yeah, dude, except I love Omegle, bro. Yeah. Well, the Omegle, all you do is click one button and then go on the next. Yeah, at least I don't have to Alt F4 like delete system 32 to get it off my computer on Omegle. <laughs> yeah, and some people would do that thing where they would use the particles so there'd just be a bunch of like dick and balls bouncing around everywhere and then your game crashes because it's just like Yeah, like too many um, polys or whatever the hell. Uh, yeah. It sucks like too because VR thing. chat is so nice to play now. Like it's so much more like... Right, but after the hackers smooth. left, that's when it was like and all the streamers quit. All the yeah. cool people are gone. Now it's all furries. Now it's all furries and like all furries. Tumblr users and stuff. Yeah, it's yep. Yeah, very obnoxious. I did actually get on uh, like a few months ago and play guitar though, and I was able to find a pretty like decent group of people that like they were like requesting songs and stuff. And yeah, people should... would still be into it. I'm probably gonna make a VR chat video eventually because I've been trying yeah. to go back and do all my old shit like Black Ops Two, and I would do Comedy Night, but that game's dead. Y'all remember Comedy Night? Yeah, I only I remember that, that because I of never, you. I never played it. I only remember watching your old comedy night videos, but I never seen anybody else play it. Donkey made myself. a few videos on it, I think, but I've, I've, I made a couple of videos on I've it. I've heard I just never I've never watched Donkey. I don't know. I mean, you guys like really kind of like idolize him, but I've never really watched him. He's a good Donkey's YouTuber. Donkey's incredible because he can post literally anything and pull views. You know, yeah. he's one of those channels. It's just yeah. respect, you know. I don't know. I never really he's watched, watched much of he's, stuff. he's hilarious. He's great. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, he's been around forever, too, huh? It's like OG, yeah. OG YouTuber. Yeah, he has. OG YouTuber. Do I look like a troll face when I do this? Yeah. No, you look, yeah. like, you look like a picture of Germa. Like la, 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 la. That's pretty much Actually, it. Actually, when there. you do that, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's troll that's face. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> face when I troll. Me, my feel when I'm tro <laughs> My face when I'm trolling. God, that is so fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a troll face shirt that said, yeah. You mad. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Isn't that, didn't a, a ninja take a picture? Oh, yeah. With a troll face? Yep. I yeah. used to have that one. I That's used to have the, the same exact one, yeah. That's so funny. I love it's ninja. Weird. It's weird that that was just memes at one point. Like, it was just that. Like, rage faces. Or whatever I feel like Emojis has took cheeseburger. Over. Emojis? Yeah, like, people will use those to express how they're feeling rather than, like, a, oh, a, yeah. a, a rage face or whatever they used to be called. Rage comics. Yeah. Yeah, and now it's just shit that we, like, post on Cards Against Humanity. Those were prime ape memes. Yes. <laughs> you know what prime I used to ape. find, like, just unironically extremely hilarious was Doge. Like, remember the first time I saw Doge memes? Oh, my yeah. God. I, like, pissed myself laughing for, like, an hour. I don't think I had the same experience with Doge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know. There was just something about Doge that was just so funny to me. I do not recall uh, that. <laughs> yeah. I do not recall laughing maniacally for an hour straight. From I don't Doge. feel like... Yeah, when memes first became popular, they were not funny. Oh, no. Not to say that they really unfunny. are now. They're, like, deep for like, Jesus. retard shit. But, like, I don't know. The the, the old, like, the, the sun streaks behind the, like, little kid yeah. with his fist up or something. Like, uh -huh. bottom tips, top... Top text, bottom text. Bottom, that shit bottom, was top, never funny. Bottom top, tip top. Yeah, it was uh, very stupid. Very stupid stuff. Like, uh, uh, what's that one guy? The douchebag hat wearing guy, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, with the backwards, like, Louis Vuitton looking hat yeah. on or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. The gas station Louis with Vuitton the, hat. <laughs> yeah, with the cig in his mouth. Yeah. yeah. What a bitch. <laughs> what a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Let's find him and kill him. <laughs> Just kidding. Oompa, I don't like when you like get serious and say stuff like that. I do it a lot. You, you give off like me. scary youth pastor vibes <laughs> when you do that. You're, you're that homeschooler <laughs> who used to shoot people with guns. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I get a little wild sometimes. I get a little wild sometimes. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm both scared and turned on. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's like a. Uh, what was that guy's name that used to do that? Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, yeah. my uh, One of my roommates does a great Rodney Dangerfield face. It's so fucking funny. Really? He'll just look at me. Yeah, I'm fucking just get so surprised. I laugh every single time. You ever watch his stand up? Oh, yeah, dude. His stand up fucking was fucking bathrobe. Great. Yeah, his yeah. dick hanging out. He's uh -huh. awesome. Yeah, he was Never very like, that. definitely like the king of one-liners. Yeah, he's great. <clears throat> yeah, you know who else I really miss is Chris Farley. Sam. I wish he was still alive. My God, rest his soul. Oh, I just wonder what he would have made if he would have stayed alive. One of the movies. He definitely would have been on Grown Ups. Oh, the movie Grown Ups. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Fuck. Yeah. Why did he have to die, man? You know, like he became like really suicidal because he was fat. That you was that? his catalyst. Well, yeah, that's not how I he think died. it was. Probably the thing was probably the the abhorrent drug use had something to do with it as well. Yeah, no, that killed him. He was. <laughs> I think he did. Yeah. Uh, I think he did um, a speedball, like a like a lot of speedball. Yeah, I think the uh, the, and... the drugs probably didn't uh, have help him have a good mental state. Yeah, he just. Well, I know I that like, like he uh, because he was before he was famous because he's he'd always been fat and he got like zero women before he was famous and then he got famous and then just tons and tons of women and it kind of made him like it kind of made he like he felt shitty because like obviously these women were only attracted to him because of his either his fame or his money yeah and that just like brought him down a lot and uh yeah and then he was just really heavy into drugs and alcohol and stuff i wonder what andrew tate would have to say about that i don't know Good question. Let me call Wait. him right now on his personal <laughs> cell phone number and ask. <laughs> what do you think about Chris Farley? <laughs> hey, Top G. Hey, Top G. I'm talking with my bros. He's right like right now, in the middle of a uh, business meeting for like yeah, yeah, $10 yeah. million, dollars, like serious like shit. What's your opinion I was just on talking Chris with Farley? my bros, with my prime apes. Always pick up a <laughs> with prime apes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good times here on the... On the GP. Oh. The, the <clears throat> GP. The GP. Mm. The gorilla uh -huh. primates. So, gorilla penis. Anybody have anything else to talk about? Uh, <clears throat> I got a new song coming out this week. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Let's what go. Is, can you tell us what I it's called? I actually made actual music and not just like remixing my friends shitting their pants for once. Uh, dislike, it's dislike, unsub. It's, yeah, it's gonna be an acquired taste. It's not shit and burps and puking sounds. But uh, <laughs> fuck, damn it. It is. Uh, it's gonna be called. But I pretend I'm a beginner. Uh, the title has absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with the actual song material, but it's just something that I'm known for doing, so figured that would be fitting. Uh, um, and right. it's like a prog metal, screaming, melodic type thing, so. <coughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the release date, or you're not sure? Not 100% sure yet, but it should be out within a week, is my prediction, so. Cool. Have you said who you're doing it with? It is with my friend Gibson and this guy named uh, Silky or Silkworm. I don't know what he goes by exactly on his project, but like, I didn't do any like the playing on this. I just sang on it uh, because I know people are gonna be like, "Oh, this guitar solo is so rad, dude!" It's like I didn't play it. Um, the Silk guy did it, and so me and Gibson mm. just kind of do the singing on it. So, nice. cool. Fuck yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. So like, how was your? Uh, so you did like actual like harsh kind of metal vocals on this, right? Right, so, yeah, normally, I've only ever sang, like, gay sounding, like, hallelujah, up to this point, so since this was, like, a loud-ass, like, metal-type song, I had to learn how to sing with, with some grit, you know, put, yeah. my, put my back into it, yeah, like Creed, <laughs> some Creed-type shit, <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was a learning experience, um, I blew my uh, throat out like four times, as you guys have probably heard it the past couple weeks. I've sounded like I've gone through puberty like four times. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a learning process, but now I cannot sing like a bitch when I want to. So that's kind of cool. Did you ever try any of like the uh, the throat goat coat, throat coat tea? No, I literally just drank water. And I drank cold water, which is exactly what you're not supposed to do. I was just do. about to say, I hope, I hope you, I was, I was just about to say, I hope you didn't drink like ice water because it that was, is not. It was straight out of the fridge, bro. So yeah, that was probably <clears throat> another reason why I, I fucked my throat up so much, but. Yeah. Uh, Slackjaw just had a show and there was, they were putting waters like in this, um, like cooler with a bunch of ice in it. And I was like, uh. I hope this doesn't, like, ruin my throat after the right. show. Right. Yeah, because it, like, constricts, which is not something you want when you are screaming. Because you're already constricting to add distortion to it. So, yeah. Do you think it's, it's like, a type of uh, vocals that you would continue to do, or...? Oh, 100%. Yeah. It's just that it's not, like... So, so I don't want people to think it's like it's not like a Nickelback song where I'm like, could he cut it as a wise man the whole time. <laughs> it's more like punched in, like when I when I hit like a higher note oh, yeah. type of thing. There's grit on it. <clears throat> so, but yeah, no, for sure. It's just a it's a good utility to have rather than always being Definitely. like like fixed in a box, like singing like uh, just soft, breathy type stuff all the time. Well, I feel like all the best like rock and metal singers can kind of do both. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, exactly. Like I Scott Sop, yeah, exactly. We'll see you. Yeah. We'll see you. I can't sing. I can't sing oh, clean. If I if I try and sing clean, it sounds like drunk karaoke night. Yeah, it's just really I had. Bad. Yeah, see, we're polar opposites on that. When I would try to sing grit, <clears throat> I would sound like a dying animal. So, yeah. What about Bunger? How do you guys feel about, about that? How do you feel about Bunger, Oompa? What's Bunger? <sighs> Thank God. Got his ass. No longer friends with Infoville.tv.gaming.gov. What's Bunger? I'm, I'm not even going to tell I, you. I, so I, much I really, really, You don't deserve I, I really, to know. It's the same level as Doge as a meme, basically. <laughs> so really funny to McNasty. <laughs> I don't bunger. know. A, a shit, like whenever I say Bunger, a bunch of people like react to it. They, they react to it with Bunger. I don't know. The little, the little bug? <clears throat> yeah, it's from a game called Bug Snacks, like a little burger dude. A bunger. And they go, I don't bunger, get it. Bunger, bunger. And it's, just, it. it's just all you stupid have to know, and funny. All you have to know, Oompa, is that it's hysterical. <laughs> That's you know, it's, a prime, it's a prime <laughs> ape meme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was lame. What's lame? Your mom. I have two dads. Yeah, well, one of them has to be the mom. No, they don't. You can't have that's two kind of, alphas together. That's kind of that's kind of ableist. Yeah, you say fuck. Hey, that's very ableist of you, babe. 
Fuck Let's not be you. ableist, babe. Fuck you. How's that mask smelling? Like shit. <laughs> I wish your glasses would fog up and you had little windshield wipers on them. <laughs> <laughs> that would you be need a little shit like McNasty would buy too. <laughs> you need like a little exhaust that comes out like your head that's always like puffing smoke and little. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Just turn yourself into a choo choo train. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'll do that next episode. I would Good. love that. I promise. I promise. I promise. I am promising you next episode. Am I going to be here next week too, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. Varg is just Varg is just gone on his own fucking adventure. He probably has another podcast that he does now. He just doesn't tell us. <laughs> another He's podcast in a different state. Yeah. It's in another <laughs> language. It's in Arabic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be funny. As you, fuck. you turn on C SPAN, you just see Blarg like fucking <laughs> holding his <laughs> finger <laughs> up. Like. I don't know how they speak. Yeah. They? Yeah, yeah, they. What letter in their alphabet is. Um, Probably the upside down Y. I would guess. Half Life Alex symbol? Oh. oh. Conspiracy confirmed. I think that's just the Half Life symbol. I don't think that's necessarily the Alex symbol. God damn it. Is this podcast on, over with now or what? It can be, yeah. yeah. It's feeling that way. This is a very low res podcast. Low res, yeah. I'm going to upload this on 480p. No balls. <laughs> Do it, you I'm won't. never going to let it process past 360p. It's just going to stay that way. Ugh. 360p, more like 360 penis. 360 YY, fakey, fakey, letter shine. 360 more like 360 penis. Penis vagina. Okay, this has been the good podcast. 360 pussy. <laughs> Andrew Tate get 360 pussy. Do your oh, outro, you of pussy. Do your damn outro, boy, before I spank you. Like, subscribe, download on Spotify, Code Goons, G Subs. Like, subscribe, download on YouTube, Code Goons, G Subs. Like, subscribe, comment on Facebook.gov, Code Goons on G Subs. Like, subscribe on MySpace, Code Goons on G Subs. Okay. That's it. Bye. <laughs>